Talos Magic Talk Show brought to you by Talos Master G C Food and Team Yet Dragon Talosum. Puriang Tenjon. Hi everyone, welcome back to the show. And today I want to make this short episode on a very uh, sensitive topic. <laughs> so. This week, I have a few people coming to me asking about like uh, changing their religion, changing their path, and like should I do this or not? You know, like that kind of thing. Um, so, uh, it's not a good topic because I don't like talking about other religions. It's very annoying. Like even talking about other sects of Taoism, it's very sensitive, right? But then there got to be a a show, one episode on this <laughs> is so needed. So, first of all, um, every religion and every sect is not the same. They are not going to the same place. They do not have anything like to do with each other. Okay, mm. <laughs> it's like working in different companies. Right, you don't share bank accounts, you don't share people, you don't share resources. They might be similar companies with similar things inside, like Apple and Google. You know, they all make technology stuff, tablet, phones, right? But they don't share the bank account. They don't do things together. They don't share ideas. No, they they don't do that. Maybe they do something similar to each other, but they are not. Related to each other, okay? Mm. You have a mother and father. I have a mother and father. Our parents are not related, right? We all have a father and mother, right? Mm. So religion is the same, like this God and that God and our God. Well, they you can call them like they are all gods, but they are not the same thing, right? They, they, they. It's, it's like. Mother, right? Your mother and my mother—they're not the same person. So, yeah, it's uh, it's one thing that like a lot of people don't understand about religion. Oh, this religion say like there's only one God, and then they take that and they go and judge other things based on what they knew from that religion. So, tell us them. You say like there's so many gods. So. Is your God actually the God that these people are talking about? I mean, this is crazy, right? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> like, we are not the same religion. Do not take the uh, theory from one religion to explain the other. It doesn't work that way. Okay, they are not related. Okay, now about choosing your religion, I will say if you come to this channel. Right, and you listen to my podcast, and you start to like it, and you pretty much like, oh, it really clicked with me like that, right? Then it means that you have the potentials of learning under our lineage, our religion, and be a Taoist. You have the potentials. Doesn't mean that you have to. No one's forcing you to, right? You have the potential because it clicks with you. Now, however, I have to say there there are some people out there that listen to my teachings, my talk shows, and they'll be like, oh, "This guy don't know what he's saying," you know, like that, right? So these people obviously have no potential learning under my lineage, my my sect, whatever, right? So very obvious. If you listen here, like listen to my stuff, and you like it and feels click to you. It means you have the potential. Okay, now you got a potential, but then there's another factor. Do you have a religion with you at the moment? Now here's the hard, hard part because it feels like you're stripping someone away from what they used to be with, right? It's kind of like grabbing someone's girlfriend. <laughs> but, but it, but yeah. I mean, it's um, it's a big decision changing your religion. Um, so. There, there, there are things to consider, right? If you don't have a religion, I would strongly suggest you to have one. So if you listen to my show and you like it and you feel click, try it. 
right? At least give yourself a try so you can go to our website and, you know, like, it depends on you. If you really want to go real, you can go and ordain. That requires money. If you are, like, low budget and not ready yet, well, there's a free initiation process which you can go through and you can email me and so on. And you can still get a start and see how it goes for you, right? You can try. Like, we have a stage that is open so you can try, if you like it, keep going. If you don't like it, you can quit, right? Who cares? <laughs> right? We are very open. Now, however, I, I have to say one thing. If you don't like it, you can quit, but don't just disappear. Come on. Like, tell me, um, oh, I don't think this is fit for me. I, I will have to go. Okay, no problem, right? Just be a grown-up person, you know? Act maturely. Just say you don't want to continue and let me know. That's fine. Um, but if you already have a religion, you got a big decision to make. Okay, first of all, if you are really in an other religion, meaning that you have committed, you have like went through a ceremony uh, and, and actually become a member of that religion, whatever they want to call you that, okay, a disciple or whatever, right? Um, if you are in that religion, now that's a big decision because you go into an other religion, that means that you are stripping away from your previous one. You might think that, oh no, I can like, you know, do my old stuff and then at the while I'm like learning from here. It doesn't work that way, okay? To your God, no matter what religion you are, even Buddhism, whatever that is, the higher power will see you have changed. You have changed. Your heart have changed. You don't have faith in that old path anymore. They will see it. And eventually, you know what? To them, you are a betrayer. Okay? Yes. Because you decided to not go fully focused on their path. You decided to find something else like they cannot feed you. Right? Okay. So, now here's the thing. It's okay if you actually made up your mind. Like, I really don't feel like being a boop, 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 boop anymore. So I want to start something new. That's fine. If you made up the mind, you quit that thing completely. Then you go ordain into, for example, you ordain into our sect, right? Then what happened is we strip you away from the old stuff and you will be protected by the new stuff. Okay. Now you are a new person, new relationship. The old side want to bug you or do anything to like, you know, uh, threaten you, whatever thing, right? Like the God wants to give you a lesson. Well, they will see that you already have a new side backing you up and they will just let go of you. Okay, that's fine. Now, if you decided to go on the new path and the old path together, and it's like you're cheating on your wife, you are doing like, you know, you're, you're screwing around with another lady and while the wife is still with you and that is not okay. So both sides will not like you because to the wife, you know, the old one, it feels like you're cheating, right? Now to the new one, it feels like, I don't like you. you you're like not focused on me. You still like your old wife. You know, they, both sides won't like you. And why do we need a religion anyway, right? The ultimate goal of a religion, what is that? It's because we know that after this life is ended, after we die, there's a place to go. Any religion talks about the, like, every religion, not any, every religion talks about the life after death. You're going to heaven. You're going to Western paradise. You're going to whatever shit, right? So... Any religion is not going to like be different. They all have a place to go. And our religion, like Taoism, and especially our sect, right, have our own place to go. Every sect of Taoism has their own place. You know what? It means that you go into this sect, it doesn't bring you to the place of the other sect. Even they're all called Taoism, okay? It, they don't share the same, quote, quote, heaven. They don't share the same place. So you decided to go to this sect, you will go there. Like at the end of the journey, you go to their 
uh, place, right? So now you think that you're okay in the human side, uh, having multiple paths on you, right? Uh, believing in like three different religion, and you're practicing here, practicing there, and you think you're okay. You know what? When you die, you have nothing. Every god hates you. You're like a player. You know, you 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 play around. You haven't decided yet. So why should any god like to have you on their side? Right? You're a betrayer. Your mind is not focused. You are a betrayer mindset. Like you have that mindset inside you. Like oh, I can be with three different wives at the same time while well, they don't know each other. Come on, that's an asshole, right? But you see, that's what happened with a lot of people going around having multiple religion or even one religion but multiple sect. It's so disgusting, and it's so bad. It feels like you know those player who just play woman. You know, there's so many women, and you're no love, like not true loving to any one of them. So that's not okay. Right, multiple religion at the same time—it's a disaster. It's a disaster, and I have seen some people mixing sects of Taoism together. Like, oh, I learn a bit from here, I learn a bit from there, you know. And I can tell you that by experience, that's not going to work, because why? Every uh, sect has their own method, their own power source. Uh, well, the methods only communicate with their own power source. Okay, so if you use the methods from an other sect and try to do magic or whatever with your you no, know, the other sect god. Oh, oh, come on, the gods are like so confused. What are you trying to do? <laughs> we don't have these things here. Why are you like talking in this language? So yeah, it ends up like you're going nowhere because. Every god don't like you. That's basically like the, the the worst thing you can do to yourself. It, it, like mixing religion, mixing a sect, it doesn't work. So, for people who are with a religion right now, and you kind of feel you lost connection, lost faith, and you, you don't want to continue in that one, right? If you feel like that, and you happen to come by my show, and you kind of like my way, it means that. Well, what does it mean? It means that. Maybe it's a turning point for you, and it's a time for you to consider trying this out, right? So you should detach from the other one. You cannot go both ways. It's not gonna work. It's really not gonna work. <laughs> well, the thing is, if you don't go fully my way, then we cannot protect you. And the other side is like they see that you're kind of making the decision, but not cutting them out yet. So. They see you as like, oh, you're losing faith. We need to do stuff on you right, to make you back here. Uh, so yeah, you will not have a good time, and your life's not going to be good too because the God will teach you a lesson, right? So they will give you the punishment that you should deserve, and that's why a lot of people when they like try to quit a religion, their life like go all the way downfall and all that, right? Because yeah, the God's trying to save you, right, right there. By giving you a punishment to see if you actually wake the f up, right? So you can go back on track. But well, yeah, you decided to quit, but you haven't officially quit it. Then that's a big problem. Ah, and some people they just want to like, oh, I just want to quit and then believe in nothing but myself. Well, if you do that, that's even more dangerous because a lot of religion they have like this control freak mindset. So if you actually don't have another religion. They will just think that you can still be saved, so they will still teach you a lesson until you go back. So you're not gonna have a good time right there. Uh, so yeah, if you want to quit a religion, you know you need an other one to uh, back you up to protect you in order to get out of that trap. Um, yeah. So at the end, I would like to use a very short time to answer one question. Is like um, people ask me. Hey, what do you think about other religion, the Western religion, whatever, right? I want to openly tell you guys that um, to me, all religion, they're like pretty much the same deal, but in different packages, and also they're in different, uh, like different gods, different places, you know, like that. But they're almost the same deal. Uh, so 
It's not about which one is better to go for. It's about which which one is better for you, and which one do you like? And also the person who teach, right? Like maybe it's a good one, but the guy who teaches is an asshole. So do you still want to go there, right? It, it also depends on the person who represents the religion, right? You come to me and you like the way I teach, sure, you can stay and learn. Some people don't like the way I teach. I have disciples who quit because they don't like the way how I teach uh, my disciples. So they will quit, right? It's, it's like a person-to-person -person thing. Can you take the way I teach? Um, not everyone likes it here, you know? It, it's like I'm openly telling you right here that I am a strict teacher, I, I like to my senior disciples, I do scold them. You know, I scold them right in the face and like tell them what they have done wrong and I give them punishment. Like I am a strict teacher, even my wife says so. But, you know, I love teaching and my disciples. So that's why I'm strict. I don't want them to become garbage. You know, like I don't want to have my disciples to like one day someone go to their house and they try to do a ceremony and then it looks like they don't know anything and... I mean, <laughs> it's so ugly, right? How can people stand that? And you need to flip the book to find a spell. It's like you don't even know your stuff, right? I don't like that. So those senior disciples, I have stricter requirements. And I also require them to have virtues. So if, like, say, you know, some disciples, they, they talk with a bad mouth, bad virtue, and they like to talk back, I scope them, you know, like, <laughs> this year I have I have made a few of them quit Because I was scolding them for their mouth Like, hey, you cannot speak like that You know, like, know the order You have to respect people when you speak And they cannot take it, you know <laughs> Well, too bad, off you go hey? You cannot learn here um, I'm like that So, you like the way I teach And you listen to my show And you like this way Well, then, then that's for you <laughs> But, yeah, other religion it's not really about the religion all the time. It's more about the person who actually teach you. Say, let's say uh, Christianity, okay? Well, you enter a church and do you actually get anything to learn? I don't know. Uh, I never went there, but uh, like whoever bring you there, right? Are they actually teaching you something? Are they actually giving you something to learn? Or are you actually achieving something, right? You decide if you go there like for two years and all you know is like pray to God, that's it. And I, I mean, like, do you feel you're kind of useless when it comes to like you have problem? Well, if you feel like that, well, you may try like try my way, right? You won't feel as useless. <laughs> we don't only do like pray to God, you know, we, we have more stuff. We are professional in magic and it's more fun here, right? So if you like it here, like our way, you know, you can give it a try. So it's more about your own experience. Do you feel you're actually getting something out of that path? It has to do with the person. Don't just think about the religion. Even a good religion is like a good school, right? But if the professor sucks, even the school is good, so what? Right? Like the professor is like sexually harassing people. Are you still going to go there? It, it's a bad school already, but... You know, publicly, they will say, oh, it's a big school, a high reputation, you know, how many start, whatever, right? It doesn't matter. Your your experience in the school is that you get sexually harassed. Do you still want to go? Even it's famous, right? Now, some school might be not famous, but the teacher is very good. Then that's a good school. It's, it has to do with the human being side, right? So, yeah, um, last warning. You guys who want to come in our lineage and learn... When you initiate, it's fine because you don't get the direct teaching, right? But when you ordain, I have to warn you, I'm strict. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm a strict teacher, right? Uh, maybe I don't sound like one, but, uh, you know. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Remember to share, subscribe, like. We'll see you in, in another episode or maybe, maybe you'll ordain and come into my lineage and be scolded by me. Anyway, <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.